hey everyone so i'm going to be showing you how to animate in sony vegas um, i have the vegas pro 13 um, but if you have some other version that will also work uh, perfectly fine because all these options are quite available in all the ver versions of vegas so um, let's just get started um, we'll just drag drop this um, so i'll just run you through, through the files first um, this is the solid background color which we are going to be using as the background this is the car um, png which um, will be animated so it will just be like moving up and down um, the wheels of the car and we have the smoke as well okay um, so i think we just have five elements in all and we are going to be animating about four of them uh, background will be static it won't be animated it will just be in the background okay so let's just drag drop this in and we'll just set it to like 5 seconds you can see here 5 seconds and uh, let's just drag drop this the car one also we'll just extend it the two wheels we can just add just drag drop it okay so now we have drag dropped all the elements and you can see here that all the elements are in place now let's just start animating them so first we'll start animating the wheels so um, for wheels animation what you we need to do is for here rotation this one I'll just close all of these so the rotation we need to move this the center point to the wheel center point so how we are going to do that is just press control on your keyboard and just move it around so you can kind of move it around and place it at the center of um, at the center of the wheel um, and other way to do that to, uh, for a more uh, for more precision what you can do is you can go in Photoshop and uh, just drag drop this file here okay and we have the info panel which is um, you can just go to v, uh, window info which is f8 so you can just view that you can just zoom in and um, place your pointer on the, in the center of the wheel and you'll see x and y coordinates on the side which is 396 and 605 so i'll just add those um, 396 and 605 so it'll kind of take your uh, main rotation um, circle the main rotation point to the center axis of the wheel here now same thing we are going to do with the other wheel so i'll just close this and i'll just drag drop this again and i'll just place my pointer somewhere in the center and 755 and 605 so i'll just add those values here 1055 and 605 and uh, it's at the center you can just do it manually also but um, just this is just for better precision okay so now let's just animate them so what we'll do is we'll click here uh, make sure this is selected sync cursor um, so what happens is when sync cursor is selected then um, wherever you click on the timeline it also gets reflected um, over here as well so both kind of move together if it's not selected then both won't move together so if, if i click on to three seconds here it will still be on whichever position and these will be independent and not dependent on each other so um we can just i i just we use this because it's better so i'll just click here at the start and i am i'll just click at the end and i will rotate it once so i'll just rotate it all the way around so it can be like a minus 360 degree you can just type it manually as well if you want to just minus 360 and uh, let's just check out how it will animate and the other wheel we'll just go here just press minus 360 we'll just add this value and we'll just kind of i'll just adjust it to the end here okay and uh, once those are done the wheels are kind of done now so now we'll just animate the car and the smoke so for car animation you can just click on the position and about at one second you can just kind of move the car a bit 
so i'll just move it like a bit here like rotate it a bit and then at two seconds i'll just rotate it back to around like this then at 3.5 seconds maybe i'll just kind of put it back a bit and then i'll just restore it so i'll just click right click and restore so it's on the original position back again at the end um after that um we we'll just animate the smoke so for smoke i'm thinking well, let's just do five different smokes because we have five um seconds so for each second we can do one um smoke coming out of the car so i'll just reduce the smoke to one second here and after that i can just go here and just move the smoke a bit i'll just go to the last frame here and we can just move it a bit and you can see how the smoke is going and once it's done we'll just fade it out so so it'll be like an animation where the smoke is coming out and it's fading out and we can just click and then control to duplicate the whole thing so i'll just duplicate this five times and more or less done so there you have it the animation is done it um, looks kind of neat and clean and you can use it for your social media graphics um, usually i uh, do this kind of animation for social media graphics where it's continuously looping animations are used and they quite um, gain a lot of engagement and um, you know they look good on the page so thanks uh, for watching and uh, do subscribe to the channel give me a like